Hello everyone and welcome to another video on JavaScript programming. Hope you guys are doing well. My name is Kaushal and today we will discuss about how to install Visual Studio Code on your computer to start programming in JavaScript. So let's get started. Before installing VS Code, let's discuss a few things about what is an IDE. So IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. It is a software application basically. It comprehends facilities to a programmer for software development. Just like Photoshop makes it easier for us to edit photos in the same way. IDE makes it easier for a programmer to write code. If you want to write code, IDE will help you write that and it will help you in software development. There are a number of IDEs present in the market today. We have Sublime, we have PyCharm, we have Komodo, we have Notepad and Notepad++ as well. But in this particular course, we will be using Visual Studio Code or VS Code we can say. So let me run you through some of the advantages that why we are using VS Code for this course. So first of all, VS Code is free to use as it is an open source software. So you can use it without any cost. It supports multiple programming languages. There is nothing like you need any web support or work on different editors for different programming. You can use VS Code for different languages. Extensions are also one of the main reasons behind using VS Code. See, you want to work on a programming language it does not support. All you have to do is add an extension, search for it and you are good to go. It will also not affect the speed of the editor as it runs as a different process. It can also detect code snippet whether it is complete or not like you are using a variable in your program and you forgot to declare it. VS Code will do it for you. This property is known as IntelliSense. Besides all these properties, one main key feature behind using VS Code is it is cross-platform. It is available for Mac, it is available for Linux and Windows as well. I think there are enough features we have discussed till now. There are many more features. We will discuss them while installing or while working in VS Code. So for now, let's move on to the installation process. The installation process for VS Code is pretty simple. Just go to Google and search for VS Code. The next page which will open, here you can see that the first link available is from their official website. Click on that and you will go to their official website. Here in the front you can see the download, This you can download the stable version from here only. Or if you want to download it for your according to your PC's specifications, you can click on the download button present at the top right corner of your screen. Here you can see that VS Code is available for different platforms. It is available for Windows, for Linux and for Mac as well. You can download it from here as well. So if you want to download it for Windows, you can click here will take you to another page and it will start downloading VS Code. Once the download completes, open the setup file from your downloads and it will take you to the license agreement page. You have to agree with all the terms and conditions. You can go through the full license but then it will take a lot of time to go through all this. Once you click on it, this window will open where you have to select the location you want your VS Code to locate. Any ID you install, the default location for all the editors is the same. You can click on browse and select any other location if you want. But for now, I'll be leaving it as it is and I'll click on next. Now this will open and you'll click next from here. Now it will ask you some questions like if you want to create a desktop icon or not. Select all of them and click on next. Now click on install and it will install VS Code for you. Sit back and relax, it will take time. So once you are done with the installation process, click on finish and the Visual Studio Code will start automatically. So here we are, you can see that we are on the welcome page. So let's start with these icon present on the left side of the editor. This icon here is explorer. So VS Code works with the folders in your system. Click on open folder and just search any folder or you can take any folder of your choice. So here in my PC, I'll go to work and I'll take JavaScript as my folder. I'll select it and see it will open the folder and I already have a few programs written over here like this and I have a few more programs like this and this. You can open any program from that folder by using this explorer option you can open any program present in that folder so basically what it does any program you make in visual studio code you will save it in this folder only so it will be easy for you to open any program anytime next up we have the search button to find any keyword or word present in your code 
whatever you write here it will show you where it is present in your code or in your document so let's suppose i write here simply learn see it will show you simply learn in your main screen so you have a shortcut key for this also press ctrl plus f from your keyboard and write anything here like it's written simply learn here press enter and it will show you the result the third option here is for version control if you want to use any version control like you want to use git vs code has very good integration with git the next button here is for debug or it will run your program once you are done with writing the code click here and run and debug just open it with chrome you have a shortcut for this as well press f5 from your keyboard and it will do the same the next button here is for extensions here you can find many extensions given by the vs code community they are free to use for now we will use these three extensions the first one is html css support just click on the search button write html css support the first option click on that and install that extension similarly you have to install few more you have to install javascript and typescript nightly and you have to install live server in the same way i'll tell you the use of live server in the next video when we will be writing our first hello world program let me end this video by giving you a shortcut let's create a new file here click here create a new file this close it create a new file we will name it as new dot html so it's new dot html here one thing you have to keep in mind while saving a file make sure to save that file with dot html extension here we are about to start writing our first program so just write exclamation mark and press enter it will do this see it will write the basic html code which you will need in almost every program from now on so you don't have to write this code every time just do it this way and start writing main program we'll see it in another video so guys that's all for this video see you in the next one where i'll show you how to write your first javascript program if this video helped you anyhow do like it comment your doubts share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe simply code thank you